Well, my name is Brad Gordon. I go by Gordo. Uh, I, uh, I, I used to play hockey when I was younger, and since the last name Gordon, everyone used to call me Gordo. So that's where the name originally came from. So when I started to blow glass, I had no resources or anything. I was in high school as a sophomore, and I was taking a lot of art classes, and I was asking my art teacher what you needed to begin blowing glass. Um, she had no idea, but she ended up connecting me with uh, some glass blowers in the area. This was central Illinois in the mid 2000s. So I was really smoking a lot of weed and that I, that's what I wanted to make. That, there's no two ways about it. I wanted to make pipes and I wanted to make ways to smoke weed. Um, so I was making, I was trying to make little spoons. I was trying to figure out how to make oneies, but the guys I got connected with wouldn't show me how to make a pipe because I was too young. I wasn't old enough to go in and buy a pipe, so they would not show me how to make a pipe. A few months in though, I got connected with a guy who didn't really care and he showed me how to push a bowl, how to pop a carb and do all the things properly. I took a, I took a year long apprenticeship with them and then afterwards began working with them. I worked there for approximately seven years uh, making some of their designs. The company was called Unbroken Glass, unfortunately it's no longer around, but that gave me a really good understanding of uh, the basics of lathe work and blowing glass allowed me to get uh, a good understanding of production and how to go about uh, the business side of things. Um, but ultimately, um, it was the best for it was best for me in 2012 to leave the company and start Gordo Scientific. My friend called me one night and he just said, "I think you should make a, a carb cap out of the Riptide design." That was all he said. So it was a very vague as far as you know what the interpretation of that was. Oh, I broke a lot of them. It, it's a it's a hard piece. It still is very difficult for us to get one from start to finish through all the steps and then have it a first quality at the end. So flash forward to Pine, Colorado. It's August of 2016. Come out with the carb cap design and I can't even keep up with all the DMs, the messages, the orders, wholesale, retail, everybody wants one. So we need help, or I need help. because, And that's when we uh, hit up Bill. Um, Bill Gates was working down at Mad Rob's. I had met him when I was working down there. We were friends since we met at Rob's and I always had a lot of respect for Bill because, you know, there's, there's a couple of ways to get into this industry. And one of those ways is to get into a shop and refuse to leave. Basically, clean the floors, ship out stuff, go get coffee, do whatever you can do to help out just to get in the industry. And that's exactly what Bill did. He was at our shop after his nine to five job and he would be mopping the floors, asking us if we needed anything cut on the wet saw. And he wasn't getting paid anything to do that. I've always had a lot of respect for him, how he came into the industry. And I saw from day one how he came into the industry. Um, Bill and I had a little meeting one day where our concern was that I wasn't spending enough time on the lathe. And that's where I really bring value to the company is when I'm blowing glass, doing what I've done for the past 15 years. It was our idea to call my brother, Paul. He was, in, he was living in Branson, Missouri, working for a hardware store at the time. And uh, we really needed someone who didn't know how to blow glass because we thought that that would give me the best chance to get back on the torch full time. Uh, consequence of moving him here was I got, I have my sister-in-law and my nephew in Pine as well now. Um, that's, that's huge. Uh, me and my wife have family around now and we're growing the company together. And uh, there's not, you know, there's nobody else I'd rather share the experience with. So the big thing on the horizon right now is we're gonna move back into, the, into Denver, into the metro area. We've, and we're trying to become more known through doing collaborations with com already established companies in the cannabis industry, uh, such as Leafa, Made in Shaolin. So this is the GTR. It actually stands for Gordo Task Rock, but it also uh, is a play on the car because the, the original idea was that you'd be able to shift gears on your carb cap. Task Rock, the owner of Highly Educated, 
contacted me in November of 2017 with a drawing of what eventually would become the GTR. And the idea was that you could shift gears on your carb cap, giving you different functions on demand. So one of the biggest difficulties in making carb caps is that everyone wants a different airflow. Some people want it more restricted, others want it more airy. They don't want any drag at all. So the GTR was really a, an answer to that, um, where you can have multiple functions on one cap, but also if you, if you leave all the holes open, you have a full airflow, and you can close the top one, and then the air only goes through the riptide channels, and it makes it a much more restricted hit. So you can literally tailor the carb cap function to your preference.